Uh, Josh Green here for Tungsten Tales. I'd like to be joined by George Killington, fresh off a very good Pro Tour weekend, George. Um, coming out of the out of Q School, you must have set yourself a few targets, but a really good first couple of weekends, and you must be really happy with that. Uh, not bad, not bad. Um, guided, but happy to be guided at the same time. Obviously, the better you're playing, the more you fancy yourself. And... Uh, I'm uh, over the moon. Good start. Good start. Yeah, I mean, when, when you came out of Q School, and we'll have a little bit of a chat about that in, in a few minutes' time, but what sort of expectations did you set yourself with getting back on tour? Uh, just to perform properly, really. That that was the main goal. Um, last time I had my tour card, I felt good, but I, I, weren't, I weren't getting the results. Um, I was coming away if I had one win the weekend. And I was doing all right. And that, that was the main goal this time around was just don't make the numbers up. I, I feel like when I'm playing well, I do deserve to have a tour card. And I just wanted to play like I should be sort of thing. And it's uh, it's finally starting to come together. Yeah, certainly is. I mean, we'll, we'll touch on that that victory over Rob Cross, which is probably your highlight <laughs> of the weekend, I'd have to say 6-1. Yeah, probably. Know? Beating a former world champion, it doesn't get too much better than that. You must have been just delighted to to secure a scoreline of six one against a, a man of Rob Cross's ability. There's two things that I was really happy with with that game. Um, first one was last time I played Rob Cross, match me six one. So to actually sort of like, I mean, he, he probably doesn't even remember playing me last time, but I, did. I definitely haven't forgot it. And um, to go in and compete with players like Rob because he's fantastic. And to just get in the game and, and play like that sort of thing was that was brilliant. And the other thing was I've never won a game on a stream board. Mm. I've thrown away so many chances. I've been 5-3 up, 5-2 up, 4-1 up, whatever you want. I've been in so many positions to win a game on a stream and I've never done it. So to get my first win on the stream board with like 98 average, I think it was, and against Rob Cross, I felt on top of the world afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you say there about the stream board. Is that is it kind of uh, equivalent, I guess, of a of a TV game for for you? You won't get a huge amount of opportunities to play on TV, but when you get the opportunity on the stream, you want to perform. Um, it's a bit like it means nothing. You know, I don't think about it when I'm in there, and I, I never did beforehand. I think it was just a box of the more you like. Bear in mind, last time I had my card, I lost a lot of games anyway. But you get into a, a habit or a routine or a worry, a panic of losing. And it was just every time I went in there, I thought, come on, I'm putting so much more pressure on myself in, in there than, say, if it was on a normal board. So it's nice to play well and to have people watch and to sort of, like, show what I can do. Um, but it, it, it makes no difference, really, whatsoever. It's just, it's just a weird feeling. And, but it's... It, I, brilliant to just win in there for a change does it feel like a little bit of a, a weight off the shoulder as well not not just winning on the tv board but be able to get those wins and prove to yeah, yourself massively. in the first couple of weekends that right I, I belong here i belong on this pro tour massively i've, I've said to everyone recently because i've been i've been playing super league county um in practice i've been playing brilliant and i thought if i keep playing like this and i've got a good chance against everyone but doing it and saying it are, are two completely different things. So mm. after last week's poor performances, I come back and I still thought once I get comfortable, I, it doesn't matter who anyone else is. It, it's all about what I do. If I play well, I can compete. But to actually go up and to play well and to compete with people, massive weight off the shoulders. Like this early in as well, I feel so much more confident and comfortable for the rest of the season. And it wasn't just the Pro Tour at the weekend. Obviously, we had the Euro Tour qualifiers on the Friday as well, and you've managed to get yourself yeah. in, in the spot getting back on the Euro Tour. The Euro Tour's been away nearly as long as you have. So, um, yeah, pretty nice, much. <laughs> nice to return to those stages, I'm sure, as well, and more, more positives for yourself. Yeah, definitely. Um, the <laughs> last time I had a tour card, I only qualified for one European tour, mm. and that was quite late on in, uh, in the two years. So... Now to get back in and to qualify for the first one of the year, again, it's a massive like weight off the shoulder sort of thing. I've, I've done that. I can take that off. I don't need to worry about having to qualify for another one. Like, I want to qualify for all of them. Yeah. But that, the worry of getting one done 
that that's now out of the way. So I can just go back in and and try and like play well in all of them now without worrying about what event it is or where it is or any of that. Hmm. We'll move on to um on to Q school. I mean, I've spoke to a few players since since they competed in the event. And they all say the same thing. It gets harder every year, but I'm sure that's something that you'd echo that you've been there a couple of times. I mean, and and every time you're you're at that event, the the standard is getting harder and harder, and you need to be yeah, better definitely. to get a card. I mean, um, I I think I played really well at this Q school, but some of the days they, they were insane games. Um, I played one of them. I played some guy I've never heard of before. And I had 101 average, and I, I, I was buzzing with that. But he, he was with me the whole game. I, I, I don't think his average was anywhere near as high. But he was so solid and so consistent. And you think when you're not on the pro tour, when, when you're playing well, you sort of think, that's all right, we'll crumble in a minute. And he, he just never did. And then the game after, I think, played Leonard Gates. Mm. And we, we both pretty much had 100 average. It, it, was, it, it was crazy. And, and Jamie Clark, I played him there as well. And we both had like 98 averages. I think that's the, like they're proper pro tour games here. <laughs> you don't expect to get games like that at Q School, or if you do, you expect one or two, not as many as that. It was definitely it was a hard win, hard graft. <laughs> that's a that's the thing I think now with the tour as a whole, you know, challenge and development tour as as well as the pro tour. The depth is there, and you've got so many players that can average mid to high nineties um, and sort of keep up with the top top players. And if they all perform on the day, there's hundreds of players in that Q school that can oh, go definitely. on it. Definitely. I think you look through the next 20 or 30 people in the order of merit from Q school. And I don't think anyone would be shocked if any of them had a one at all guard. Um, I mean, you had players like Jared Coleman, so he's such a phenomenal talent. Like mm -hmm. He will win a tour guard at some point, but he's still not someone you want to play just yet. Um, there's loads of them. Yeah, I mean, for you on that final, we look at the the order of merit. Um, was there was there an element of nerves in the final couple of days? You know, yeah, lo loads, loads. Looking at Dark Connect and trying to keep up with with who's in and around <laughs> you, and are they going to get the results? Are you going to get the results? I weren't looking at any of that. Um, I had people telling me, obviously, but I <laughs> the way I was playing, I thought if I play well. Uh, after the day one in stage two, yeah. I thought it, we've done like half of the work now. We keep playing well, then we've got a good chance. The next day I was, I was so tired because I had the first stage as well. Mm. So I played four days with one with a semi-final in it. And I, I was knackered against Mickey Mantle and his experience won the game, but I sort of give it a write-off. Then the third day, good day again, good couple of points, <laughs> great games. Um and I knew I was in a good position. I just thought, don't throw it away. And then when I did lose, I, I, every emotion went through my body. I, have I got it? Have I not got it? Oh, I think I've thrown it away. And then someone come over and said, you, you've got it. And it was a, another whirlwind of emotion. I thought, if, if I had stood there trying to count out points, I would have just completely ruined myself. I'm, I'm not that sort of person. You don't, you don't want to like win a couple of games. Any, anything I play in, I, I want to try and win it outright regardless. But yeah. to get it on points is still, it, it, it don't make a difference, but you just want to win something, don't you? Oh, 100%. Yeah, you got to go for the win no matter what, haven't you? Yeah. Um, for yourself, obviously, in between the gap of, of having the tour card two years ago and now, I mean, what sort of darts have you been up to? Have you been playing in the county systems or what, what has been? Um, darts? I did nothing for a year. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, when COVID hit, I. I played a couple of online tournaments, but I didn't like it. Mm. Um, I was just, I, I practiced all the way through, but I, I didn't have much confidence at the, um, at the very beginning when I lost my tour card. So didn't play county. Um, I think I ended off the season in Super League before COVID, yeah. but then didn't play for a while. And then when restrictions eased up and felt more comfortable to go out, started playing Super League and uh, I played a couple of county games but they weren't I, I, I was in a good position before that the mm. mode online um, online darts league yeah sorry. that helped with confidence because I was practicing well beforehand and I said to my manager I went in any chance and he went yeah I reckon so and that was my first time competing properly against 
other like top players. Hmm. So it was a good little, I, I could find where I was sitting around other people because I knew I was throwing well like indoors, but it's, it's not a proper game. So hmm. the online darts league and super league, that's pretty much all I was doing. And I've played a couple of county games recently. But Yeah. Moving on to the, the season as a whole, I mean, when you look at what you've done early on, how you performed at Q School, do you feel like when you compare it to a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, you're playing much better darts now? And yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I knew when I lost my tour card, that I was a better player than when I won my tour card anyway. Hmm. Um, the first year out, I still threw every day, but I just, there weren't much confidence. The second year out, I started feeling a lot better and I, I was doing well. And then just my averages alone from Q school, not even from the weekend just gone, mm-hmm. they were already better averages than my averages the entire time when I had my tour card. I, always, I, I had a couple of hundred plus averages on the youth tour and a couple of high 90s on the youth tour, but I very rarely done it on the pro tour. I was like mid 80s and, and the odd 90 and things like that. So to start off the way I've already done, I'm 10 times the player that I was two years ago. And that's what I'm here to sort of show now, to be fair. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, yeah, we wish you the but wish you the best of luck in the next few months. Plenty of pro tours, a couple of Euro tours coming up. So it's best of luck schedule, on those. We're, we're looking forward to seeing you back on the stream. Hopefully, some more wins on the stream board as well. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Thank you.